Hello. Today I'd like to just go through the process that I use if I'm going to print photos onto fabric. Now I actually don't do a lot of photos on fabric, but I do occasionally want to put a photo on a fabric. And this is a product that I use. There's various products on the market. Um, they're not all available to me here, so this is one I've come across and found is quite successful. So it's called Photo Fabric. Basically it's a cotton fabric and you can get them with other fabrics. Um, and it's the, the cotton fabric is just stuck to um, a piece of paper on the back so that it will feed through the printer nicely. But it's also been treated so that when you print it, and you need to print it with an inkjet printer, not a laser printer, it needs to be an inkjet. Um, it's obviously got some treatment in the fabric so that when you print it, it stays there. So I just thought I'd show you what I have to do. So I've got my computer and printer set up here. So I'll just wander around. So I've got here set up on the screen um, a page that I'm going to print. So the, um, the paper that we're printing onto, or fabric, has been cut into a, a regular paper size. It's actually in letter size. So we're just going to fill up a page. We've set a, um, we know that we're working with a letter size, which for some of us who use A4, it's very similar, but just a little bit different. Um, so the program I'm using is Publisher. It doesn't matter which program that you use, you need to use one that you're comfortable with and know that you can move your photos and crop them and things like that. Um, Word or I don't know, there's other programs. I use Publisher a lot for my uh, patterns, so I'm comfortable with that. Um, so I've set up my page here and I've put, brought in some photos and I've cut some to size. The idea of filling up your whole page is because you can't really put it back through again and you don't want to waste it. Sometimes these um, photo fabrics can be a little bit expensive, so we don't want to waste what we're doing. So you want to bring in some other things. It might be text, it might be photos. There's really much, anything that you want to print on there will print. So I'm just going to go up here now to go to, to set it to print. I've checked that it's got the right printer on. I'm just going to click that to letter size and I want it to print the pages. So, and I'm just going to go over to my printer over here. Now my printer is a little bit old these days, but it still works really well as long as I just encourage this to go in. So I'm just going to hit print there. And very shortly, this should start printing out here. It's going. So that's happily printing away now. It's just going to take a little, little bit of time because it's quite a big lot of pictures in there and that'll come out shortly and so when it comes out the instructions usually come with the, the package that we're using and it usually tells you that you've got to peel the paper off the back and you've got to run it under cold water um, and then let that dry and then you can iron it and it's all set so I found that this is a very handy thing if you're wanting to customize something you might want to put a little bit of a, a picture on uh, maybe a bag, a cushion, in some quilts, make some memory quilts. There's all sorts of reasons why you might want to, to do photos on fabric. So um, this was just to show you really how easy it is to achieve that. Because basically what I've done is I've got my photos, and with digital cameras these days it's just great. They're on the computer, I've set them out onto a letter size page, I've told it to print it, and here it's coming now, printing out beautifully. And they come out pretty clear. And with my printer I have to put, um, you need to know which side your printer is printing on. Mine prints on the underside, so when I fed my fabric in I had the fabric side down. But here you can see that's printed beautifully. You really you just imagine it's on a piece of paper, but that's definitely on fabric. So I'm just going to show you the next process, part of the process now. I have actually already printed the same thing earlier so that I could show you this, because we just need to let that dry. Because it's an inkjet, it does need to dry. It doesn't take very long. So I'm just going to slip around the other side here. I don't have a running cold water tap at my sewing table, unfortunately, um, or maybe fortunately. So what I'm doing here now, so we've printed that, we've let it dry. We now need to peel the paper off the back with, of our fabric. So just wiggle a corner and just get that started. And that paper should just peel off there. And this is a lovely cotton fabric. It's not stiff. There's nothing about that that feels like it's stiff or anything. So that's peeled off. You don't need the piece of paper anymore. And because I haven't got a tap here, I'm actually just going to dunk this in. I've just got a container with some cold water in it. And I'm just going to dunk that in so that you can see that there's nothing to fear by putting it under water. Give it a bit of a swish around. Normally it's under running water, it suggests. And now I'm going to lay that just on this towel here. 
And because I'm going to continue the process fairly quickly, I'm just going to pat that dry. But I know that uh, often people talk about printing, they want to print pictures of the children or they want to make some sort of memory quilt of a holiday or some particular occasion. There's lots of reasons why you might want to um, print photos onto fabric. So I've done that. It's reasonably touch dry now. Um, probably I would leave it to dry under other circumstances. But because I'm just trying to show you what to do, I'm just going to iron it dry. Just move my water out of the way a little bit. Bring my iron over. And it really is as simple as that. So I've got some, one of our, our delicious rooster is featuring well in my printing today and some baking that I've done and a holiday snack. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use them for yet. But use them I will. But I just thought if I went through the process, for those of you who have thought about it but I haven't been too sure, so when you're setting your page up to print, you may just want to make sure you've got enough of a margin round things if you're wanting to take a seam from things. Um, I'm a little bit close on the bottom edge here, but I can still come in. It's not going to make a lot of difference to what I use. So that's now all dry. That is just a lovely piece of cotton fabric with your own. So you can now create your own fabric if you're trying to put names on things. You can do text, all sorts of things like that. But today it was just to show you how to do some photos. Let's pop this water before I spill it out of the way. And the idea is that this is now colour fast. Um, I've had no trouble, although I must say some things if I've washed them repeatedly, just occasionally they'll start to fade. Um, but this is now safe to sew, safe to use, safe to wash. And so I would probably be cutting those apart. So I'll just quickly do that. And I have left a little bit of a margin so that I can sew them into something or you could applicate them. You can put fusible on the back and fuse them in place. Uh, there's really any number of things you can do. So all you really need to have is a digital camera with some nice photos, a computer and an inkjet printer. The inkjet printer is fairly important, plus also some photo fabric that's been treated to take the inkjet printer. If you have a laser printer and you print something, it actually will print really nicely. I know this because I've tried it, but it doesn't stay on. It washes off. So I believe there's various products on the market, but I'm not familiar with them that might help with that. Um, so if you were only wanting to print something that wasn't ever going to get wet, possibly you could use a laser printer. But I would suggest going with the instructions, which is an inkjet. As you can see, that's quite a soft piece of fabric. It's very usable now. Um, and I just thought, apart from my lovely, delicious ginger kisses that I've got sewn on, uh, printed on here, which all I now want to do is eat my ginger kisses. Um, but that was just to show you really how easy it is if you can get some photo paper or fabric um, and you're, you've got an inkjet printer and a computer and a nice digital camera, you're just away printing your own things.